Hey guys, Brian here. We're gonna take another look at the truck and give you a little update. We're gonna look at some of the wiring and what I found out, which is really nothing. But uh, had a lot of questions and about grounds and things, so uh, start off with a ohm test here. And I'm ohm out from the ground on the voltage regulator to the battery and see what we get. I guess I'll show you here. Get point three just touching the leads together. It's the same as I get on the regulator screw and the ground here beside it. Same thing, point three. It's ground to the engine. Same thing, so all the grounds look good. The alternator itself's got a ground to the block right there. It comes off this screw here. We got the Bosch 120 amp alternator. I did change the alternators thinking that maybe something was up with that other one, so maybe this will help. Uh, it's the only difference between this truck and my other truck that didn't have a problem was it's got a Bosch on it too. The one that was on here was a Nip and Denso. I really don't think that should matter, but I don't know, maybe they take more field current to run or something, but that was the only thing I really changed besides putting the new warranted uh, regulator on there, so.
there's the voltmeter. I got everything running in the truck now. Radio's on, blower motor's running, lights are all on. Oh well, I don't know if anybody wants to see any other tests performed or has any ideas of thing to look for here. I said it appears to be that the grounds are good. I'm not getting really any crazy voltages or crazy amps going on. So I don't think so. I said no, it's kind of maybe a little high on the amps uh, charging at idle speed because of the, the field strength needed to get the output. But I don't know if that's really a huge issue because it's still most of what I looked at online said five amps would not be unusual. So five to six, especially on a on a big alternator. You know, this isn't a Toyota. This is a 120 amp alternator, so it's quite a bit of output. So I don't don't think that would really be it. You know, why is all the wirings in pretty good shape on this truck? None of it's really hacked together too much. I wanted everything clean and it is all from this truck and so I said somebody was talking about the speaker wires down there but that's a, a non-issue and we got the here's the plug-in for the uh, seat buzzer now that's hooked up so now this does anything I just take this out and throw it away sometime but it's wired into the seat so I gotta figure out how to get it out or just cut it off but uh, Otherwise, that's that. Nothing really hanging down in here, so. Yeah. Grid heaters, they do pull quite a bit when it's first going there. You'll see the meter jump up as soon as they cut off. One thing I guess about it, they shouldn't be on, so I, I'm gonna replace the temp sensor on this truck because it's bad. So it's not shutting off, so. All right, so that's the standard voltage. 
This gauge obviously isn't calibrated very well. That should be about 12 volts right there. And just fire it up. Okay, so I guess that'll be it for this. Just want to let y'all know what I've done with changing the alternator and putting that warranty regulator on there and it's back charging again now. So I uh, just have to see how long it lasts and what to find out. I uh, appreciate everybody's comments and suggestions. That was the most commented video I've ever had. Uh, I think I had like 400 replies on it. So it was good to hear from all my viewers that were out there trying to help and lend a hand and giving ideas and we'll just have to see how this lasts you know, it's charging and working for now which is the standard deal you put a regulator on it and it goes by a couple months and then usually quits so hopefully now i change this alternator it won't do it again uh, not showing any ac voltage so any signs any diodes being messed up and the voltage drops all check good and the grounds are all clean and everything's got you know it's all cleaned up, polished, and got uh, dielectric grease on it to keep it from corroding. So should stay good and for a long time. Connections are all tight. I don't see any reason why that this should have an issue. The only thing I could think of would be if it's getting voltage fed back from somewhere, maybe killing it. But I'm not blowing any fuses or anything, so I don't know that that's the case either. But uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.